I'm not speaking back because that's not a part of our culture. You know what I mean? I just, I think I have to um, follow the standards a little more to a T because there's other guys, new guys here that's learning the culture, you know? So. Is there a part, is there a part of the game, part of your game that you're really specifically trying to hold on? Um, all around, honestly, the more, it's, but to be, to be more specific, more of the mental aspect of it. You know what I mean? As we all know, like, especially the athletes uh, in the room, know that basketball is 90% mental. You know what I mean? So I've been focused on that a lot. Um, and then, of course, the skill set. I mean, I'm, I work out in two, t two, three times a day. Like, that's just, that's just who I am. I think it's time to hone in on more mental things, the mental part of the game, you know? Uh, it was dope, you know. Uh, I'm happy for him. You know, we get to play another year together, put on a show for the fans. You know, he's he's a stud, as you guys know. So it's definitely great to have him back. How does he kind of help with the team culture you've been talking about? He's just always happy, you know. Um, always positive energy, um, and, and that's that's contagious as well. So you know, he's just himself, and that kind of just bleeds up, bleeds into our culture, you know. So. Um, it's, it's my it's my third year here. Um, there's been a lot of like ups and downs in terms of like, you know, meeting new players coming in or like especially my first year, as you guys know, and things like that. So um, this has honestly been the mo the easiest transition for having like new guys come in and um, being a guy who's been here. It's been pretty easy like building a relationship with these guys and. Um, you know, we went to Omaha for the World Series uh, on Saturday. You know, we spent time together. Um, you know what I mean? In the locker rooms, even Sam's house. So, it's, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool. You mentioned basketball being a mental game. You know, when you're a shooter, which you are, so much of how things go can hinge on seven or eight shots in a yeah. game. How have you worked on your just the, the mental part of being ready to take that shot, make that shot, and then deal with it if you're having an off night? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, realizing that that happens, you know? Um, not getting too hard, too high or too low. Mainly focusing on staying even, you know, because as a shooter, just because you miss a shot, doesn't mean it was a bad shot. Doesn't mean you can't shoot. Uh, you know what I mean? So I think it's just staying even. I and I, you know, I mean, it's the benefit of uh, having guys like, like unconscious guys like Jamarcus or like Kase. You know what I mean? Because those guys miss a shot, they don't care. You know what I mean? Um, they'll shoot it again. You know what I mean? And um, just watching those, watching them, and. Um, that's just a part of it. I see, I see it firsthand. You know what I mean? That's something I have continued to get better at. So, Maybe I'm wrong about this, but it feels like you guys have more shooters than you've had since you've been here. Whether it's mm -hmm. you and Marcus, uh, Bryce, mm -hmm. uh, Kase, mm -hmm. Drink. Um, mm -hmm. When you think about the, what you guys are able to put on the floor, mm -hmm. how much more dangerous do you think you can be as a perimeter shooting team? Um, I think we'd be a lot more dangerous. You know, I think it makes us – Way more versatile and a lot harder to guard um, because we could te bring teams further out, bring bigs further out with rank. Um, so I think it just makes us that that more dynamic of a team. You know, I mean, our offense is set for that um, pace, space, shoot three. So <laughs> I think we just set, we're actually in a, in a good spot to you know I mean? make a big big make a big move, make a big impact. impact. Talk about how easy this transition has been. To mm -hmm. in new faces when you got a bunch of older guys that have been through it, done it, and know what to do at this time of year in the office? Um, I, think, like, I think it's just based on the experience. You know, we, I don't think guys came in with egos, like, I'm going to come in and be the guy. Um, I think we just all come in, like, know the process, know that it's a grind, know that we're here for a bigger purpose, and, you know, um, we're here to get better as well as individuals but then as a team. So I think that just that mindset, having a lot of older guys who've been through the ropes, no, it's not about, you know what I mean, being the, being the guy or um, getting the most shots or having, you know what I mean? It's just more so, all right, we're building camaraderie. We all came here. The coaches did a great job recruiting guys that fit into our culture personality-wise, not, not only just on the court. So it's just been pretty easy adjustment. You know, we're all on the same page thus far, so. Yeah, so I don't I don't do it in the morning. Um, 
I do it a little more throughout my day, like multiple times a day. And it's a little more like praying now than meditation. I think I, I've been uh, working on my relationship with God. Um, and that's the part of the mental part of it as well, you know, just being present um, and letting him do his thing, you know. So um, it's kind of, to answer your question, I, I still do it just a little more consistent throughout the day. And it's more like prayer-like, you know. Eli is very mature for his age, you know. It's kind of he kind of reminds me of like how Jamarcus was, you know. They're kind of like quiet until they get comfortable, but just to themselves, get the work in. I mean, kind of stay out the way. He's cool too, like you know. He doesn't really. Uh, he's a homebody, so he doesn't really come out too much. But um, when when we like, you know, what I mean, chill with each other. But he he's gonna be really good too. So. Mm -hmm. And then no. the second part, um, you know, a lot of people worry about the sophomore slump. Is there any indication that um, he can't build upon what he started last year? Um, you yeah, know, I wasn't surprised. I was, I was telling this from this time last year that he was going to play and make an impact because this is what he does, you know. He scores the ball, shoots the ball well. And I've, I've been here, so I know what kind of works in our system. Um, and that's, what would you say, sophomore? Yeah. Yeah. Transition. What's what's the keys to avoiding that sophomore slump and, and continuing the momentum that, that he's always wanted? Um, I wouldn't say say there's like key points. I think it's just playing basketball, being continue to be itself and continue to grow at his pace that he's been growing at. I think we all go through slumps. So that's just a part of basketball, you know. So whether somebody considers it a whole year of a slump or games of slump, I mean, it's just how it how the game goes, you know. So. I don't see that happen. I mean, of course, we want to not as have as many games where he struggles, but I mean, that's just a part of the game, you know? We, we struggle, we learn, we get better from it. So I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Thanks, For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would say confidence. I feel very confident uh, going into this year. You know, just I think I needed that just getting thrown in the fire. Um, you know, I made a lot of, you know, rookie mistakes throughout the games and stuff like that. So I think just me looking back on my film and stuff, uh, it's going to help me a lot. What kind of things have you learned from watching your own, your own film? Um, I'll say just like little things, especially like on defense. Um, um, just me spacing the floor out more, uh, getting to spots better, uh, shot selections, all, all types of stuff like that. You talked about confidence. I remember in the, the very first three minutes, I think, of the, the Big Ten tournament game. I mean, you just you just took three three-pointers right in a row there. Um, what did it take to get to that point where you're just comfortable being the number one offensive option if, if the shot is there? Um, that just goes with – well. I wasn't thinking that game. Um, I feel like, then again, uh, I feel like those were bad shots that I took in the, uh, the those, those three bad. minutes. To me, I think those are bad shots. Um, you know, that's just me just learning the game. Um, you know, we could have got an extra extra pass out of that possession that I took the shot or whatever. So I'm just learning through that. Do you, do you feel like though, like there are games in which you, you can be the guy that if if it's there you can possession after possession. Oh yes, most definitely, most definitely. But um, then again, I'm gonna just stick with my role from last year. Uh, just I'm gonna just produce more. I don't know if you saw it or not, but after you guys played Michigan State last year, Tom Izzo said that uh, that Lawrence kid is gonna be a hell of a player. He couldn't guard him. Um, did you see that after the game at all? Um, I didn't see that. Well, just to know that Hall of Fame coach like that has that kind of 
prompted to say about you? Is that maybe not validation, but kind of confirmation that you belong at this level and you can be a star? At the end of the yeah, definitely confirmation for sure. But shout out Coach Jizzo, for sure. <laughs> Um, I think one big thing for me is uh my diet. You know, just eating right, uh, staying in great shape for me. Um, you know, just keeping the uh keeping the same skills. You know, maintaining them consistently. Shooting. You know, really working on my ball handling a lot this year. Um, you know, there's a chance I might play a little bit of one this year. So ball handling is the main thing for me. Yeah, um, you know, we built connection easily. It's probably, yeah, easier than last year for sure. Um, you know, these guys are themselves, like Grant, Josiah. They're just themselves, so, you know, they, they don't show no, uh, nothing fake in them, you know. They're really um, real. Um, with this team, though, I feel like we're a better shooting team than last year. We know with rank and stuff. I'm very excited to play with him. You know, um, you know, shooting big, that can space the floor out that's that's really what we need i'm excited for that and just everybody else that can shoot what is a what does a shooting big do for you as a guard you just mentioned it but, but what else did, might he help with in terms of your offensive game or other um me getting downhill i feel like if he's on the outside you know nobody's in the paint you know that's easier for me to get to the paint in the lane kick out stuff like that Were there any possessions last year where you guarded Aaron and he guarded you when he was at Iowa? And, and like, how is that? How is how is his basically transferred to Nebraska gone so far? Um. Yeah. We I guarded a couple of couple of times. Uh. I don't think he guarded me. Um. So far, but this year we really haven't you know got to play. We just been you know just working on our uh, offensive sets and stuff like that. But he's good. How much experience? Um, not too much experience. You know, I can play it a little bit, but you know, I'm so far as me going in. You know, I'm feeling confident that I can play right now. Eli, Eli, um, that's a good question. I feel like I see the same thing that I that I was going through with him. Um, you know, our offense is kind of complicated. You know, when you're new, so you know what I was doing. Uh, I was kind of struggling with the offense. You know, just everybody was kind of speaking to me. I was kind of letting that get in my head. Um, but me, I was just telling him that you know this is gonna be good because once you get it, you'll be fine. So, um, athletic, you can shoot the ball, so that's great. Fun to finally be in a room with you guys. First time. I hope my voice holds up. I've been a little, been a little congested, but it's been fine. A lot of screaming in practice, so. How has practice been going? Uh, good. Just trying to get used to the new concepts. You, you've been around basketball, uh, but every time we were with a new team, you kind of got to adjust. Especially the defense has been a, been a lot. Uh, different, but I feel like I'm adjusting pretty well. And then offensively, we uh, that was like one of the main things I really liked about uh, the system here, that it was similar to what I'm used to, and it puts me into my strengths. So for that, it's been pretty easy to adjust for me. But right now in practice, uh, I've been really focusing on like trying to talk out the actions that I'm doing so that the rest of the guys kind of know what I'm doing and that we can get more uh, familiar with each other from that. What would you say your strengths 
uh, like uh, what defensively? You said it, the defense kind of fits what, you, what you're Yeah, no, I was uh, with that. I was talking more about offense, but defensively, it's it's a lot of structure and very um, very team oriented defense with like different rotations and rules in that. Um, I I know my strengths are very much with that and like being at the right spot at the right time, and then offensively. Just kind of my my vision and my passing ability combined with like exploiting small advantages that get created out of an offense. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, Lincoln has been pretty cool right uh, so far. It's just a new adventure. I was in the same place for four years and loved it there, but at some point you you want to try and explore something new. I've always liked the. Uh, to go and see new places. So Lincoln's been, uh, I've been really liking it so far. And then the guys have been been awesome. A lot of, a lot of funny dudes on the team, but they, they know how to get their work done and be serious when you need to be serious. So uh, like the other guys kind of refer to, it's been very easy to start bonding with each other. Obviously you're still early in that process, but um, it should be a fun year. What's it been like to work with, with Coach Hoiberg? I know that was a that was mm -hmm. selling It's been it's been very good. He's been uh, kind of what I've liked about him is that he's very been uh, keen on details, like just a shooting motion, sticking your shot, the footwork into it. I'm I'm pretty big on the footwork aspect of things, and he's been really helpful with teaching me a couple things in that. And like at this point, you're looking for the small, minor things that you can help you get just a little bit better. And he's been very good at. Um, like pointing out small things, and I've I've really liked his attention to detail so far. Yeah. Oh, it's it's awesome. Every time you get to represent your country, I've, it's it's an honor every time. So I'm very happy that I I got invited and I get to get the chance to to play in Orange. With, I, I know Josiah is still. Mm -hmm. But what's the excitement about being 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 able to play with a guy that's yeah. capable of doing the things that he's doing? I don't know if you had a player like that at Bradley that that could kind of be your running mate, on, you know, or a guy that's in there when you're not in there, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I, yeah, obviously, you've, I've played with guys that uh, fit very well with my playing style, and I think uh, Joe is just. Uh, He's, he's very unique in what he can do and bring. Uh, I've watched a little bit of film on him, but I'm, I'm really excited to actually share the court with him because like, seeing film and actually playing with the, with the guy is very different. Uh, a little unfortunate that he's still injured, but he's doing a great job with rehab and trying not to rush it. Uh, he's, he's very eager to get out there, so we're trying to tell him, like, just take your time. We need, we need you to be healthy. Uh, I, yeah, and we, yeah, I can't wait to share the court with them. I think we, as a duo, can be really fun and and deadly. Do you, do you get a sense of how important this is to him coming back home and playing his last year? Oh yeah, there's there's definitely a sense of sense of urgency and excitement that you can feel in him. Um, obviously, he's trying to kind of trying to hold back right now, just because just just because of the ankle injury and the rehab. But you can definitely sense him being very excited to, like, to be here. You're the new guy here, but you're also one of the most veteran players. Played a lot of games, won a lot of games. How do you balance kind of mm -hmm. getting your feet wet here in a new program, but also being you know, the, the senior leader that I'm sure they need you to be? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tough combination for sure because you, you come in, and I'm not one of the, uh, somebody that if I don't know what's going on, then I, I want to use my voice. I want to be quiet and then listen and take in a lot of information. But I feel, uh, I feel like once I kind of understand what's going on, that I'm trying to use my voice as much as possible and try to be a vocal leader. Uh, that just takes a little bit of time. But uh, luckily, I've been able to pick up on a lot of concepts pretty quickly. So I've already tried to use my voice a lot. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, with the, 
been been a little congested, but yesterday in practice I screamed out my lungs and yeah, last night was uh, was fun. Drink, drank a lot of water and and now I'm good again, or at least somewhat. Are you replacing a guy, Derek Walker, who was one of the best passing bigs maybe in the oh, country? Yeah. yeah. How much of that elements is, is part of your game, and have mm -hmm. you tried to incorporate that more to be mm -hmm. more of a, a facilitator out of the high post? Yeah, I've I've lost a lot of a lot of film on him and kind of where he got most of his passes from and his assists from, and um, I'm definitely gonna try and do very similar things to him in that off in that offense because it was he was very very effective with it. Um, so yeah, he he showed me a lot on on how to be a good passer in this system, and I think I'm capable of making the same type of passes. Um, Arkansas was, uh, was a tough game. They were very athletic, uh, so I had to really rely on my, my smartness and just uh, being at the right spot at the right time. Um, but it definitely taught me that I can play against that level of competition. And then Wisconsin, um, they, they play very slow, methodical, um, but it showed me in that game that I'm like able to play against a Big Ten opponent and do well. Unfortunately, we didn't win that game, but I felt like if we shot it better that day, we didn't shoot it well that from three that day. If we shot it better, then we would have had a very good shot at beating them. Chris, what, what excites you about just playing in the Big Ten as a whole? Oh, it's, it's awesome. Like, you know, growing up and even the last four years, that's, that's the type of games that I loved watching on TV, and I get to play against those teams now. That's, that's going to be really cool. Hey, you've got a pretty good little hook shot. How long did it take you to develop that over time? And mm -hmm. when do you go to it? Like when do you know that's the shot that you're gonna you're gonna take? Um, yeah, my to my coaches kind of started with it from an early age. In in Europe, we we work a lot on skills from an early age. Is everywhere, not not just post. But um, when I got the Bradley, uh, I thought it was I was okay at it, but then. Like before practice, every time, every day, I would get a couple hook shots in, and then over time, I developed it. And once I knew it was a weapon of mine, I definitely liked going to it. So it's kind of, for me, it's kind of like if you don't stop me from getting to it, then I'm I'm gonna take it every time, and I'm very effect, effective at it. Anything else for Rick? Thank, thank you, guys. Thanks for coming down, Alan.